Why AI is still smoking mirrors. Hi there, my name is Dominic. I'm a customer experience enthusiast. I like everything to do with customer experience and the experience that the AI gives us is still pretty much smoke and mirrors. Now here's why I think that. AI models like ChatGPT, Claude, Grok, and all of these, they make factual errors. So yes, they do generate human-like responses, but they occasionally hallucinate information. I have two examples in mind, and there was this lawyer who was presenting a case and used ChatGPT to make a case better. So it asked the software, can you tell me different examples of this happening in the past? And the software did find a case from, I don't know what year, which was similar and it had these characteristics which made it similar. Now, this guy presented this case in court and they went and fact check these and they never found it anywhere and they were like dude what is wrong with you so the guy said whoopsie you know software eh. another example from the customer service customer experience field where we activate a lot by the way we're Zenith premier partners i myself have 11 years of experience in the domain there's this case for air canada where they had to give a refund to some clients because the bot hallucinated a refund which never existed was never invented by anybody but the bot so the bot said, ah, you know what? Have some money. The Robin Hood of software is take from the rich and give to the poor. While all this makes a cute story, Wah, 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 wah. Limited understanding of context. So the AI models still have limited understanding of context. They fail to understand the complexity and subtleties of difficult topics and also nuanced conversations. Now, albeit the script for this video has been created with an AI, but to get it to do so, you have to start up with a prompt that is, you know, tells it you're an expert in customer experience, you've 20 years of experience and you've done gajillion projects. And here's some context, here's some articles to read, here's some PDFs that you can take into account, here's some use cases. Well, doing all of this, it still fails to comprehend the whole idea and the output that it gives you. They don't grasp the content and it's fine. It's okay. You know, it's not another human. You know, I'm not an advocate for, okay, let the machines take over now. Just that the scare that comes out with each new version, oh my God, is this going to be it? It's not founded in a real fear. Not for the time being, anyway. Inability to handle ambiguity and ethics. AI struggles with ambiguous situations or even ethical dilemmas. They lack the capacity to make moral judgments, handle moral complexities anyway, and also adapt to societal norms. As an example of this, well, the AIs are trained and made to be a bit left-leaning. It's a bit too PC, so political correctness. It's been made by people left-leaning and that's okay that's fine what i'm trying to say is if you try to give it moral dilemmas of right-leaning people it's not going to be as receptive here's what i'm going with this if it does take over the world sometime in the future about 50 percent of people will be considered as not good is that fair just because they like one candidate or they don't like the other or they have slightly different beliefs they shouldn't matter i'll let you decide Rigid dependencies on training data. AIs have rigid dependence on training data. So the AI cannot really go beyond whatever it has learned. The principle is if you give it a lot of information, they it will put it together in some form of answers. Some coherent, some not. Some factual, some not. But this lack of training leads to blind spots. And the answers it gives in these cases can be misleading, which, you know, kind of diminishes your trust in it. As an example from our day-to-day -day work in customer service, customer experience, when we set up a bot and we give it some PDFs to read, you know, with contextual data, with answers, with frequently asked questions, with processes, with use cases, scenarios. If these are not very well documented and very large, then the AI kind of fails to work with it. It doesn't find all the answers. It mostly relies on outside stuff, which it brings in to help the hallucination part. And this makes it limited into the automation that you can make it do. What I mean by this, you can't just hook up 
a chatbot that uses a PDF with your knowledge base and just let it have fun with your customers. Well, why? Because it hallucinates, it invents discounts that might lead you to have to sell your house in order to cover these discounts that never existed. So Zenus doesn't allow you to have a bot that communicates with your customer and maybe misleads them. It's a security because Zenus doesn't want to be in the middle of you know, just allowing you to freely just use this technology because they might have to be responsible for it. And nobody wants that. AI has an overhyped claim versus what it can actually do. There's a marketing driven gap between what it can do and what you're promised it can do. Now, when ChatGPT came out in late 2022, just a few weeks later, there was a plethora of AI experts. There was uh, even memes popping about about what is faster the speed of light or the speed at which new ai experts are coming out so that got my blood to boil really really bad because all of these people were selling and are still selling half-built solutions that promise you the stars and people are influenced by that and they think that they are just going to hook up a bot push a button and then just have mojitos and raises come at them every other week because they're doing such a great job because they hooked up a bot and they gave it a prompt no, it does not work like that. It's much more complex. And as any bots, for example, ChatGPT, they have hundreds of people, they working around the clock to make the bot better and give exceptions and write better prompts so it can learn. Now these charlatans online, because I can't find a better word, they're selling these smoke and mirror solutions that don't actually work and they influence people to have the expectation to get that from whoever is realistic in the approach of how to build a bot. And and the outline is you have to have a knowledge base, you have to start training the bot, you have to create some flows, you have to train the bot and then train the bot and then train the bot some more and then don't stop for a while, maybe a year until it's actually kicking ass. And that's a realistic approach. Thank you for watching this video. I enjoyed shooting it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. I'd be really grateful and it will bring this content to more people and I'd be really grateful to you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.